I've been making a survival game in Unity for 8 months now, and it's finally time I started using the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP for short. This is basically just a better rendering system than the default Unity renderer, but I didn't start using it just to make my game look better, I actually did it because the grass forced me to. I've already spent plenty of time talking about the grass, but there were a few more improvements I wanted to make. I decided that I should remove all the shadows that the grass casts because it takes a lot of performance to calculate them all. I'm not sure if this really looks better, but it's growing on me. I decided to keep the improvements going by working on the trees. I started by improving the shake effect, again. I initially had to shake the whole tree, but had recently switched it to shake the screen instead. Neither of these quite looked right to me, so I decided to try it again, but this time with a rotation. Now when you hit the tree, it will rotate around the base of the tree, making it look more like a natural shake. It can still use some tweaks, but I really like how this looks. Another thing I needed to fix with the trees was making them disappear when they get far enough away. Right now they stick around forever, which is really inefficient and leads to some lag. I fix this by just using a simple poppin' effect. It doesn't look very good if you see it, but at least it's better than some AAA games. To cover this up a little bit, I decided to add some fog to the scene. This was a needed feature anyways, since in real life you can't just see forever. I thought this would be a little hard to do, but all it took was checking a box. I had to tweak it a little bit, but it wasn't too hard. When I was going around looking at this, I realized that the grass looked really weird on hills. Can't you tell? Hold on one sec. Enhance. There, you can see the grass is a little transparent, so you can see things through it. This was really off-putting to me. I don't know if anyone else cared, but it really bothered me, so I'm going to change it. I found a few solutions to this, but the one that seemed the best to me was to upgrade to the URP. So that's exactly what I did. Well that was easier than I thought. And it looks great. Okay, there were some things I had left to do. I converted all the materials to be compatible with the URP, and now it looks like it all works. Well, except for the terrain. Apparently, Unity decided they should make custom shaders way more difficult to code so that people would use their nice new system, the shader graph. While I'm stubborn and wanted to use the one I already made, so I spent hours and hours changing the code to work with the URP, and none of it worked. Shaders already confused me, but they made it even harder now. I decided to try out the shader that just came with the asset I used for the trees, and it looked good, except for there was these weird shadow rings that were always a certain distance from the camera. This looked really bad, and the only way I found to fix it was to remove all the shadows from the terrain. This is a good temporary fix, but I don't like how the trees now only cast shadows on the grass and not the terrain. But that's a problem for later. Instead of worrying about that, I wanted to add some much needed features, starting with making it possible to rotate the objects you're going to place. This was pretty easy, I just made pressing R at 45 degrees to the rotation. Oh no, that's not right. Okay, now it works. You can hit R and it will rotate 45 degrees. Now you can make the scarecrow face wherever you want. Speaking of the scarecrow, I got a comment on one of my last videos saying I should make his face show his current status, and I really like that idea, so shout out to Everyday Game Dev. I ended up giving him two faces, a regular happy face when all is well, and then a flashing ammo notification if it has no more bullets. That looks like ammo, right? I also made it so that when he dies, his face will just go blank. Eventually, I'd like to add animations of it smoking and retracting its gun, but this will do for now. I also got a few comments to make the health bar look at the camera instead of the player character. And I thought this made a lot of sense, so thank you for that. But probably the thing that the most people commented on was the fact that the Scarecrow was shooting whole bullets, case included. Haha <laughs> guys, it was a joke, I swear I'm cool and know how guns work. Obviously the case doesn't fire with the bullet, and since I know exactly what does fire, I just made it shoot a line trail, which looks much better anyways. Now another benefit of upgrading to the URP is I'm able to use the shader graph, you know, the thing they had to make shaders super hard to code so people would use? Well, I actually really liked it. I spent some time learning how Shader Graph works, and definitely not just copying a Brachys tutorial, and I ended up making the Scarecrow's range visible when you go to place it. I think it'd be good to see this at other times, but I haven't thought of the best way to implement this yet. It could open up every time you look at it, or every time you open the ammo inventory. But those both didn't feel quite right to me, but for now when you place it, I think it's really nice. And since I'm a pro now at making shaders, I followed another tutorial to make a texture shader for the terrain. Shout out to Snubber on this one. It's not perfect since there's these hard lines between the textures still, but it's a good start. But the most important part is the shadows are back. And since I've been spending so much time upgrading how things look, 
I figured it was finally time to show our sorry little crop plot some love. I figured people who actually have gardens don't just put it directly into the ground. So I made a simple plot model with walls on all sides. I made it so when you go to place one next to an existing one, it will snap in place and remove the wall on that side. This makes it look like a continuous planter, and you can make it any shape you want. It still needs some improvements though. Making these will eventually cost resources, but for now it's fine. I also made it so each plot can hold four plants each. And last but not least, I made the carrot a little bit better, but not too much better. Gotta keep it humble. And that wraps up everything for this update. Now that we got some graphical improvements out the way, I can focus on adding some fun new mechanics in the next video. See you guys then!